filmed my self tanning routine so I just have to finish that up once I like get ready for today then I'm gonna film like the intro and outro and hopefully that will be up for you guys hopefully you've already seen it if my schedule goes as planned so I still have to like put on my jewelry get ready whatever but I was starting the day with an Amazon unboxing and I figured why not share it with you guys so I got a few basics because I wanted some really simple pieces that I can wear with like anything and you guys Today's weather. We need to talk about her. New York, I'm so happy with you right now. I love you. It was supposed to be rainy, but it was going to be like 70 something. But now it is like 70 something and sunny and it literally feels so hot in here. Like we don't have the heat on. It feels like summer in here. So I have the door open. I'm so happy right now. I'm definitely going to get outside today. So it got me excited and in the mood to try these things on because obviously they're like little spaghetti strap things that you're going to wear when it's hot out. So with that being said, I wanted to share. I got one set of three. So the one that I'm wearing and then it comes with these two colors. And then I also grabbed a few individual pieces. These are like one size fits all. And they're like little tank tops as well. And I got it in this color, like a brownish, a white and like a gray. So I wanna show you guys the difference. I believe this set was about 25 bucks and then these were about like $12 each. And then I also grabbed a pair of nude biker shorts because I've just been wanting. And then I'm also gonna try out this neck firming lotion, I guess. What do you wanna call this? Cream. I have an insecurity of just some extra weight always right here. So I wanna try this out, see if it'll work, why not? The packaging is pretty. Ooh, uh, this had such good reviews on Amazon, so I'm excited to try it out. I wonder if it smells good because <laughs> that matters to me. It smells just like fresh. It doesn't really have like any sort of like specific smell, but it does smell very fresh. So the directions are to take an appropriate amount, whatever that means, massage gently down the neck, take your, raise your head slightly, lift your fingers from the clavicle to the chin, gently press from the neck to both sides of the shoulders and repeat until absorbed. So basically just massage it into your neck. So we're gonna take an appropriate amount. I'm gonna start with like that much. It actually smells pretty good. I wonder if it's gonna like tingle or something. I'm doing this now, obviously, before I like get ready to put on my makeup and stuff. How are we gonna know if there's results? I guess I'll just see it over time and I'll update you guys. Or I can measure, I don't know. Down into the shoulders, a little massage. Ever since quarantine, I'm sure a lot of you guys too, I've just been so much more into like taking care of my skin and like, I don't know, just like bettering things that I've kind of put off. And since I've been working out, I know I'm gonna start losing more of that weight because I always gain weight in my face, so. Figured I wanted to try this out too. Since I'll be losing weight, I can firm it up, give myself a nice massage. So far so good. I don't even feel any tingling or any burning, so it's very relaxing, just feels like a cream. Packaging is so pretty. I think I'm gonna take like a before picture just with my phone from like my side profile so we can see that double chin start to go away, hopefully. I mean, I don't think it'll take away my double chin, but I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna do. We'll see. Why did I just rub the extra on my <laughs> legs? Okay, here is the top from the three pack. Again, it comes in this, the white, and the light brown color. And it's got like really stretchy, comfy straps. I am not wearing a bra with it right now, and you cannot even really tell. These are actually double lined, so you can see there's like an extra layer down here. So it's nice and thick. 
This is what the back looks like, just really nice and simple. Really good basic, I have to say. And I just looked and it was three of them for $23.99, which I feel like is a really good price. Here's the brownish one. For this one, I would just wear some nipple pasties because I don't know if you can get away with no bra with this one. I mean, if you're comfortable with it, go ahead. But for me, I'd probably just wear like little stick-ons because the support is fine. I feel like it doesn't look too bad. I don't need like a full like push-up bra, but just for like the nipple coverage, I would put on some pasties. The black obviously hides it more but this color is really cute and again the fit is really nice and here's the white again same thing i would just do some nipple pasties you can't really see through it but i don't know i just feel like it would be a little extra coverage for me personally so that's what i would do with this but again no bra that's not too shabby now moving on these are the individual pieces that i bought and if you guys remember i wear this nude bralette it's a little bit more nude than this this is more like a stone color but you guys asked me about it every time i wear it and it's from forever 21 and they don't sell that color anymore so i was like let me get on amazon and try find something for you guys but i wanted to try it out first before i just linked it for you and i wanted more anyway so i went on and i found this one in stone and it is so comparable it is so good to wear to bed i would just wear this because it feels supportive but it's also very nice and stretchy as you can see i love to wear these under t-shirts i don't have to wear an uncomfortable wired bra i haven't worn a wired bra you guys in so freaking long you can wear them just like this with jeans or under like a sweater it's just a very comfortable piece i wear them with like crop tops like a cropped t-shirt very simple in the back as well i believe these are one size fits all so they are super duper stretchy so comfortable i'm obsessed i'm gonna be living in these and again i don't have a bra on right now i would wear some pasties or probably put on maybe like a nude bra if i'm wearing it throughout the day but just to relax at home you don't need one i'm just gonna show you guys the other colors really quickly here's the black one this is what i was wearing earlier when i started the video this is it in the gray color this one is really cute i really like this color and here it is in white it's such a bright beautiful white i am in love so simple and cute and comfortable i am obsessed with these i'm gonna be living in them under literally everything Things, screw bras they suck throw them out <laughs> I'm just kidding I need my bras for some things but you know what I mean also by the way these biker shorts that I'm wearing are from last year from forever 21 so I don't know if they still sell them but they're like an active wear short they're like super flattering comfy so if I can find them on their website you know them they change their stuff up all the time but maybe they still sell them so I'll try my best last but not least I am so excited to try on these nude biker shorts I am nervous but they're like a cotton material not like an athletic material so I just wanted them like for comfiness to wear with like big t-shirts so I gotta do this with two hands one sec I don't know if they're gonna be like see-through or whatever so let's see okay here we go let's try them on okay I'm not too mad at these they are serving their purpose they're like the tiniest bit see-through. I don't know if you guys can tell I'm wearing black underwear, but they are really comfortable and they don't go too, too high-waisted as I was as I would like, but like I said, I'm gonna be wearing them with like big t-shirts and a tiny bit of extra room back here, but overall, these are like a really good nude biker short. I'm happy. Okay, lastly, I opened these the other day, but I wanted to include them here because I'm basically showing you a bunch of Amazon basics, so why not include them? I went and put on some nude underwear for you guys. The dedication is real. You can still see them a tiny bit. These are another one that I had in mind to wear with just like some big t-shirts, so I'm not mad at it. They're nice and comfortable. I think white is hard to find unless you buy like a really expensive athleisure brand. White like biker shorts or leggings are hard to find that aren't see-through, but these again do the job they're the same brand as the nude ones so not mad at these i love the thick athleisure biker shorts but i also like having a mix of just like the comfy cotton ones to just throw on i think they're good to have as like a wardrobe staple i just went ahead and put a bra on so you guys can see what it looks like it looks more like a shirt now rather than like a loungewear i'm just wearing the like regular victoria's secret bras or whatever they're like basic bras and i wanted to show you a comparison this is the forever 21 one that you guys ask me about all the time it's like a super comfortable material and this is like super comparable the only difference is that these straps are adjustable whereas these are kind of just like a one size stretchy fit but fits me completely fine so i found a dupe for you guys the color isn't exact but she's there are you saying hi to the birdies <laughs> what was that i should make sure this door is locked who wants to say hi to the birdies come here <gasps> look Ooh, now you can look out to the birdie. Talk to the birdies. 
Don't scratch, you'll break the screen. Don't scratch, nice and warm out there, huh? It's literally like heat coming in, it feels so good. Mommy and Daddy need to power wash outside. We have missed garbage day and recycling day so many times, it's so annoying. We keep forgetting to put it outside. I'll let you guys hang out with him for a minute. details of course it is literally gonna get up to 80 degrees today so I might be going a little crazy but just let me live okay <laughs> I'm not going anywhere but I just wanted to get dressed to make myself feel a little normal today so top is obviously the Amazon one I just showed you guys my shorts are from Abercrombie and Fitch I am completely obsessed with them they are so freaking comfortable you can bend all sorts of ways they are like the longer fit so that you don't get that chub rub you know so comfy they are high-waisted and I love that the size that I got gave me some extra room up here because I can now eat and breathe back of them are super cute as well they're like a long kind of mom-ish short super distressed at the bottom they are worth the money definitely gonna be a staple for me and then I paired this outfit with my white high top vans they are still squeaky white because I barely wore them and I freaking love them so we're gonna start to break these guys out more I've had them for like over a year now so super cute so that's my simple outfit today and then also I threw on some jewelry one of you guys actually sent me these she has a little small business jewelry shop I'm trying to focus this there we go they are the cutest let me flip you guys around the cutest little gold hoops with little butterflies on them how adorable and then I paired them with my boohoo little huggies I believe these are sold out but they have similar ones on Urban Outfitters but look how cute these little earrings are they're so lightweight you guys know I don't like heavy earrings and they are so freaking affordable Alyssa editing correct me if I'm wrong but I believe they're only like eight dollars these earrings so if you guys want to snatch them up support a small business she's a viewer go Go check her out she also sent over the cutest little beaded bracelet she made them gold for me how adorable and it says Benji and Bella I died my babies and then these bracelets I always get questions on they are Miranda Fry this ring is Miranda Fry and this ring is from Poshmark I'll have it linked down below if you sign up for the app with the code I was me trying to move it down with one hand if you sign up for Poshmark for the first time with the code Alyssa Rose you'll get $10 off and that means this ring is super affordable it's a very dainty simple why am I not no, I'm gonna show you guys this. Very dainty, simple gold ring, adorable. And then my necklace is from Zayn from years ago from Etsy. I don't know this shop, but they do sell them on Amazon. So I will put it in my Amazon store for you guys. I'm gonna have her Instagram linked down below. Her name is Julie. So Julie, thank you so much. You're adorable. She also sent Jerry a bracelet that says Agamil on it. And she sent Zayn one that says Ryos and Zayn on it. This little white one with an A. These adorable little star earrings. How freaking cute is that? And she also sent me an Agamil bracelet as well. Just adorable. So her at is Jules by Julie. I'm gonna have her Instagram down below. Thank you so much. I love these freaking butterfly earrings. So I've learned my lesson many times before where I get dressed and I like my makeup and then I wait too long and then my hair falls flat and I don't like my makeup anymore. So I'm gonna go outside and try and take some pictures now because, you know, I finally got ready for the day. I haven't filmed in like three days. I was pre-filmed, so I'm feeling good today. Let's go take some pictures outside. By the way, it's been like a good 30 minutes since I showed you guys him and he's still here. You wanna put on your harness? We tried the harness thing last summer and he just wasn't having it, so maybe he's willing. I don't want to traumatize him, but let's try. You want to go outside? Like a dog? This is what you have to wear to go outside if you want to, okay? No way, you let me put it on? You don't care? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I think he might have grew out of it a little bit. It's a little bit tight on him, not too tight. I think he's comfortable with it. Oh my God, it's so hot out. He's not an outdoor cat, by the way. My cats both stay inside, but they both are very curious to go outside. It's okay, baby. You wanna go outside? Oh, my baby. You're okay, you're safe with mama. Wanna look? I was just holding him outside and he liked it. Look, it's nice out here, huh? It's nice. Oh, you were doing so well, bub. You don't like it that much? I won't force you. Hey, I'm proud of you. That was a big commitment. You did it. Good job. I know the harness doesn't help. It makes him feel like what the hell is going on rather than if he just went out there himself, but he would run. Okay, mommy's gonna go outside then. Is that okay? You okay with that? Don't bite me, you little shit. Let's go outside. Hallelujah. Oh my God, it's summer. Wow. Oh, yes. This is amazing. We got the photos, ladies and gentlemen. I couldn't film it because I took them with my camera. I love taking pictures with this camera. I have the Canon EOS M6 in the like daylight. It's such like a nice wide angle, just a beautiful photo taking camera. So I just posted some stories talking on Instagram and you guys are already asking me like where my tank top is from and stuff. So I'm gonna get some Instagram work done. It's literally like a job in itself to like link things and post pictures and go on like to know it and all that. So I'm gonna take some time to do that and soak in some sun. I gotta get a tan under this cell tanner, you guys. I'm Casper the Ghost, it's bad. <laughs> Angry, I got better things to do Tell your friends I will be just fine Don't be no therapist, there's nothing You're still there? Yeah Okay, you guys, I don't remember the last thing that I told you But I think I said that I was gonna edit outside, but Ended up, Zane woke up and asked me to A, go on a walk and B, get food. And it's just such a gorgeous day. I'm not going to say no. I wanted to spend time with him anyway. So we're going to spend some time together today. Have a little date day. It's so freaking gorgeous out. So I'm so excited. He wanted Popeyes though. And just the last time I ate that, it just made me feel terrible. So I am going to get from this local place. It's called Energy Fuel. It's supposed to be like a healthier place by us. And we've gotten there multiple times before. And I actually really like it so i'm gonna pick something off of their menu i have it right in front of me and we're gonna go pick that up so i ended up changing since we're gonna go on a walk so that kid outfit didn't last very long but i'm just wearing that same shirt in black and i'm wearing the little pasties with it because since we're going out and stuff it just feels better that way and then i'm wearing the forever 21 biker shorts and then my sneakers are adidas i always forget what these are called tubular tubular shadows something like that and then I just have on a little zip up um, from boohoo in case I get a little chilly Zane is hungry though and ready to go so I'm gonna pick out what to eat then we're gonna head out hi can I place an order for pickup please okay what's the order it's can I do a create a bowl with chicken okay and then the two sides I'll have sweet potato mm -hmm. and hummus Okay. And then for sauce, can I have teriyaki? Okay, what else? And then can I add avocado on there? Anything else? Actually, instead of the hummus, can I do brown rice? Okay, what else? And then I can add peppers and onions on there if I want to. Okay, what else? That would be it. Nay. Nice. Alyssa? All right, give me about 10 minutes. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. I asked her if I can add peppers and onions, and she said, what else? They're always so mean, though. I feel like they are a little rude, right? Yeah. Their food's good, so whatever. All right, let's go, babe. Out on the town. All right. Let's get it. I feel like this is the weather Texas is. Texas? Like right now, we have, like, our house. But, like, all year round. No, Texas gets pretty cold. Not, like, New But, York like, cold. not our cold. Yeah, it's it's just cold. better. It's just yeah. better. just made it to Popeyes and the line is like literally wrapped around the building so Zane and I are gonna switch <laughs> yeah 
I have to know somebody could bring it up. I cannot believe how long this line is, and I can't believe that you're encouraging me to stay on I know, he's like, we're not going to Popeyes. It's like, yes, we are. What do you mean? It's not serious. Yeah, it is. You want it. Who cares? We got nothing better to do. Bonding time. So, you guys should see our freaking fridge right now. It's like literally milk. That's it. It's down to nothing because Zane's letting me do it. Because if you guys watch my channel, you know that I love letting the fridge get down to nothing like seeing what i can make and like having fun with like what we have left i also feel like whenever we go i also feel like whenever we go grocery shopping we're always piling on top of the old stuff you know what i mean so i kind of just want to like start fresh and i've been having fun with it but it's also making us want to eat out more <laughs> which is okay because these whole like last two months we barely have eaten out so now we're kind of like out once and i ordered domino's once like all it's um been. We ordered like, but like we had like pupusas with your family or Popeyes with your family, remember? Yep. So that's what I'm talking about. Dude, that was like for the pop, uh, what were the pupusas for? Cinco de Mayo? Yeah. yeah I guess. I guess that counts. Yeah. Just ordering out. So. Oh, they didn't forget your avocado. I'm so happy. Yeah, this place, like, on their menu that they sent me in the mail, it said different things from what it said like when I got in there. So I was hoping that they made it right, but it looks like they did it that correct. That looks bomb. Doesn't that look so good? I'm so yeah. proud of myself for getting something healthy. Wait, this is loud, huh? Wait, that looks and smells incredible. Don't worry, you're about to get your Popeyes, okay? Stay over there. You can't have this. The last time Zane had oh. this, he went into an allergy attack and had to go to the hospital. Yeah, they just didn't put that there was, uh, you know, an allergy warning on one of their sauces. I had sesame seeds. Tahini, which is sesame seeds. I guess it's my fault. But they didn't say tahini, so I didn't know. It was called, like, a special sauce or something. Right? How is it? Good. Is it? Tastes like grilled chicken. Where's my sweet potato? Oh, it I see so it. It looks so good, though. Mm. I gotta, like, get to everything, you know what I mean? So what I was saying is the bowl on their menu, it said starting at $5.00. And then when I got in there, it said starting at $11. And then on their menu at home, it said avocado was $1. And then when I got there, it said $2. It was just also confusing. It also says on the front of their menu that they're on my fitness pal app, and they're not. But yeah, their food's are right. That, they've said that forever. I think it's mm -hmm. so annoying that they mm -hmm. market themselves as like a health place. Mm -hmm. And they don't even live up to like what they're advertising. Yeah, I know. No. We're kind of bashing on it, but their food is good. I'm just mad because they sent me to the hospital. <laughs> they were like, oops, yeah, there is sesame seeds. But we didn't ask. It's our fault. It's not theirs. I guess sesame seeds isn't like a popular allergy. I'm just allergic to everything. I feel like it is. Uh, nuts is a popular allergy, but it wasn't yeah, nuts. I guess. Unfortunate for your boy. Also, the reason that I'm eating while we're online, Zane made me, first of all. I was going to wait, but he said that I eat too slow. Yeah. No, because no, she was like... That's true, though. Yeah, you were like, oh, I want to eat together. And I said, mm -hmm. first of all, this line is super long. Mm -hmm. She said she was starving. So I said, eat. <laughs> By the time I get my food, like, you'll still be eating. Mm -hmm. And because I eat like a... Garbage can. No, like a vacuum. Yeah, like a vacuum. That's a good one. Yeah, I eat like a vacuum. I literally could probably eat that whole sandwich in like 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to. And then I'll be like, no, I don't want to go on a walk yet. I'm not done. <laughs> and then he's going to be like, really good. Zane yeah. eats his food in two bites, and I'm still sitting there on my second bite. Yeah, I just, it's the way I prefer to eat. I don't know. I eat like a dog. I like to enjoy it and make it last as long as possible. See, but that's the funny thing. For me, eating super fast is enjoying it. Like, I feel like if but I then eat it's slow, over. I'm not enjoying it. Then it's over so fast. It's gone. That's it. Food is gone. Yeah, but I'm not. It's not about like, uh. The time? It's more, it's like kind of like hit cardio, you know? It's like an intense, <laughs> fast little thing versus like long, like slow pace, you know? You eat your McDonald's fries in clumps, I eat them one at a time. Exactly, that's the type of people we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's clumps. Mm -hmm. I love when things have sauce on them. Like, mm -hmm. get your dry food away from me. <laughs> this teriyaki sauce is everything. I got sweet potato, look at it. Ooh. How are the peppers and onions? So good. Fire. I'm glad I added them. They're really good. It actually looks really, like, bomb. It is. But I'm not going to let you try it, because if you go to... <laughs> no, I don't want to try it, trust me. <laughs> That's the last thing we need right now. Oh my god, no. Can I go to the hospital? No, no, no. I wouldn't even, because even when I do go, 
Unless it's like There's peanuts. There's Benadryl. Yeah, unless it's peanuts. Like, it's just like really bad highs and... Mm -hmm. Yo, last time it felt like my armpits were on fire. No, he's like, I'm kind of itchy. Lifts up his shirt. Red. Everywhere. No, like, you guys everywhere. don't understand. Listen, I just recently... Not recently. I probably like in the beginning of the year... I went for allergy testing for environment, not food, because I know I'm allergic to like everything food-wise. This was before Mexico, right before Mexico. Oh my God! So yeah, it's been a little bit then. No, I'm saying you said this was last. No, I, mean, I said beginning of this year. Oh yeah, then it was. Yeah, it was October. like October. Or so anyway, long story short, they did like the prick test on my back, so they uh, gave me a bunch of little doses of environmental stuff. And long story short. My back looked like a giant balloon, and it was so crazy. Do you have the, the doctor, picture? Can I put the, the doctor, picture in? No, no, no. No? No. Nah. You won't let me? No. <laughs> I got a little, I, that's when I was bulking. I was a little chunky monkey right there. I'll zoom into the, the allergy test. All right, fine. Deal. Okay. Um, They were literally calling in nurses because they've never seen anything like that. They were like, yo, look at this guy. I'm like, <laughs> come on, man. They're like, yo, I've never seen something so like, bad. And you're just like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> Well, I know I'm allergic to everything, but I didn't think my environmental stuff would be that bad, too. Oh, so you think other people yo, have had that, too? The like, doctor was like, listen, I'm going to just get you a plastic bubble, and you can just walk around in that. That's why I constantly have a stuffy nose, because I'm allergic to everything. You do That's constantly have doing. a stuffy nose. Not cut me off, are you? <laughs> not for my Popeyes. Just smoke. I wonder if it's going to pass down to our kids, because I'm not allergic to anything, as far as I know. I don't think so, because my parents aren't either. I think I just got, like, a bad freaking... Mm -hmm. Bad hand. Mm -hmm. Dealt some not so ideal cards, you know? <laughs> Suboptimal. Not so ideal. <laughs> People were laughing when you said um, that corn was a mediocre vegetable anyway. <laughs> it is. Like, don't get me wrong, it's good, especially like when you have it on the side, if it's on the cob, or if it's clean corn, like it's good. Mm -hmm. Nothing to go out of your way for it. Like, you want mm -hmm. it to suit up and go to the grocery store for some corn. Oh, I have something to tell you. Uh oh. No. Remember after Mother's Day, you were giving me like a cute little speech and you were like, I don't know, I just feel really good right now. And it was really cute. After Mother's Day? Yeah. I was like finishing my vlog and you're like, it's just so cute. Like you're finishing your vlog and I love yeah. you. It was really cute. I secretly filmed a little bit of it. Because it was so cute. And I wanted it as a memory. Oh, that's fun. Oh. I don't know, the way you said that, I'm like, oh, No, uh, people were like, trouble. oh my God, Zane is the sweetest thing ever. Oh. It was such a pure moment, you yeah. know? Yeah. You can't get yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I had stuff. no idea you were filming. Yeah, you but, can't get that stuff when you have the camera up, you know? Yeah, I really thought I was about to be like, yeah, in trouble right there. The way you said that, I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> mm -mm, you're not in trouble. I just thought that was so cute. That was cute. I didn't capture a lot of the cuteness, but there was like maybe eight seconds of it. Alright. Take it. We're getting close. One, two, three. I told you. Four cars. We it's literally pulled in. He's like, oh, I'm not getting Popeyes. I'm like, yeah, you I are. I just felt bad because you were so hungry. Oh my god, my chubby was hanging out that whole time. <laughs> I'm so, I feel so proud of myself for getting something healthy. I was so tempted not to. But I actually thoroughly enjoy stuff like this. Like, yeah. Especially with the avocado, it makes it top notch. See, avocado is not a mediocre vegetable or fruit. I don't know what it is. But that's something you go to the grocery either. store for. Not for sure. corn. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're literally out of everything at home. <laughs> I know. I was going to make um, skinny taste empanadas tonight. But now that we're eating this, it's already 4.38. I have some turkey burgers I can keep having. Yeah. Turkey burgers. Yeah, we'll probably just have some, like, fend for yourself tonight. Dude, I'm such a garbage can. Like, I could literally just have three turkey burgers for a day and just call it. <laughs> as long as I have, like, my cookies, I'm fine. Mm hmm I got you cookies, so you're good. I know, I'm literally the cookie monster. I had some tapes last night. You're good, right? Yeah. I need to decide when I'm going to go grocery shopping. And you're sure you want to do it? You don't want me to do it? Yeah, no, I want to go. Okay. You know what I've been craving? Hmm. And it's bad. Like, real Coke. Not the diet drugs. doesn't suffice. Suffice? <laughs> Not the truck. <laughs> we diet isn't good enough. It just tastes different. Mhm. Mm but um, not real Coke, just a drink, but like a mixed drink. Like Ooh. I think when we were in Mexico. We should have a drink tonight. It's gonna be so nice out. I forgot where we were, but I had um like just rum and Coke, plain, just normal Bacardi with like real Coke, and mm -hmm. it's so good. Well, rum has Maybe a good Amsterdam? flavor, right? I love the taste of rum. That's probably my favorite liquor. Yo, everybody wanted to come to Popeyes today. Spicy chicken sandwich. Do you know what's really funny? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be honest. The reason I wanted to go to Popeyes, my favorite gamer, his team, like the organization, whatever you want to call it, they're doing like um, a charity event today with Popeyes as the sponsor. So it's like Popeyes X Huntsman. They do want it. So I'm like, oh, I really want Popeyes now because they were like all taking pictures, like what they ordered and mm -hmm. stuff. And someone else on Twitter said, 
oh, I was gonna go to Popeyes today, or she was getting Popeyes for her boyfriend, and then she was online, and she was like, the line wraps around the whole entire building. And I'm like, and they live in like Georgia or something, so I'm like, damn, I wonder if it's gonna be like that here. And little oh, did so I know. you knew. Yeah, like I had like a weird thing. That was all the way in Georgia, so I didn't think like this Popeyes would be the same. Mm -hmm. Although this location is always popping. Yeah. Cause it's right Pop on the highway. Cause it's Popeyes. Popping. But it's also on the highway. You don't like my joke? Popping like Popeyes? Yeah. I think Popeyes... I was gonna say is it the best fast food, but I don't know. McDonald's, hands down. That happens to me all the time. When I see people's stories, I want what like, <coughs> they're eating. Like yeah. on Instagram, I always... Like what was the other day I ordered some something because it made me want it. Well, I didn't order it. I made it. I think it was Chinese food. I'm constantly craving Chinese food. I know. We All still have to order that. I know. Maybe we'll do that on Sunday. See, like, I'm so hungry, but I know my eyes are bigger than my stomach. So I'm yeah, gonna no, just, just get a meal. Get just your real Coke. order a family box for get myself. Your, get your real Coke. I feel so guilty drinking that. I just can't. It's like a mental thing. Really? I know Popeye. It's funny. Like, Popeye's is terrible for you. I know this. But, but the like, Coke. Coke, it's like a weird mental block I have. You guys want to know something funny? When Zane and I first started dating, he was a soda fiend. And well, I... Well, that's why I have this block, because you, like, got me to stop it. And then when you made me realize how bad it is for you, I'm like, oh. I never drank soda growing up. My family was always water. We only had soda at, like, family events or barbecues and stuff like that. But, like, I never grew up on it. And I just was always taught that it wasn't good for you. And so as I got older, I realized that I just didn't really like the carbonation. It kind of hurt my stomach. And then, like, I would see things of, like, how much, like, sugar is in there. And same reason why I don't really get Starbucks that much. Because Starbucks is delicious. But I'm just seeing, like, how many calories a drink is versus food. Like, scarred me. Food. I'd rather eat food. Yeah. yeah. But when Zane and I first started dating, I saw how much, like, he would drink soda, like, his whole family, they stopped now, but his whole family would drink soda every single night at dinner. Every single night. Like, that was the drink. And I was like... Well, you know what it was, too? My, do like, you know I how was bad that is for you? I played tennis my whole entire life at a really high level. I was, like, naturally super skinny. Yeah, it never caught up so, to like, you. So, like, yeah, it never caught up to me. Until, like, um, never caught up to me until we, like, started dating. And I started, like, slowly getting chunky, chunky. Mm-hmm. My metabolism yeah, started that was when, down. Yeah, that was when we both looked at each other and we were like... Oh, we getting chunky. Yeah. And then I was like, baby, I was like, baby, you'll, you'll lose weight quick if you cut out that soda. Yeah. I can't wait to start working out again. Are you going to go to the doctor? Guys, Zane hurt his foot and he won't go to the doctor. Baby, don't say it like that. Because I know what's wrong. It's a super common so problem. So are you and trying it, to fix it? I'm, why are you asking like you don't know? What do you mean? You see me stretching all the time and I literally told you yesterday. That's that all you have helping. to do is stretch? Yes. Oh, so, okay. How long is the recovery? It's not that simple. You just kind of stretch until it goes away. What is it called? Maybe somebody else has it and can help you. Plantar fasciitis or something like that. Hmm. We're finally here, guys. 15 minutes that was we've been recording for. Nobody's not gonna help you. Hi, how are you? Can I have a spicy chicken sandwich combo, please? Can we fry it? Uh, yes, please. You want a drink? Coke? You need to know? That's Turn it. it. You can come to the window 868. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, we'll go home. We'll have a nice little cocktail in the backyard. Oh, right, so you're going to save it for the cocktail? Yeah, but I want to have it like now. Like, I'm going to drive home now. Oh, so we're not going on a walk? We will, but just around oh. our neighborhood. We can have a cocktail on our walk. Oof. A little to-go cup on our walk? How's that sound? I think I would prefer to just down it quick and then like walk a little bit buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I was drinking a lot and then I stopped drinking. Yeah, I felt like I was drinking a lot too during the beginning of quarantine. Like, when was the last time I even had a drink? The ninth web. Ninth web. Oh, uh, sir? <gasps> baby, baby. Baby. <laughs> Please. What? Alyssa is the worst backseat driver. Baby, that wasn't you. That was him. You just like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You get flustered. You gotta be cool, calm, and collected. I see your veins. You well, see you me? didn't do anything. I was backing up. I to go reverse. <sighs> the audacity. That's the one thing we like fight over. Driving. The one thing? <laughs> Alright, let me rephrase that. That's the one thing that annoys me about you. <laughs> it's literally been 18 minutes. It doesn't feel like it. I know, one quick, right? That means this vlog's gonna be so long because we're constantly talking. <laughs> also, 18 minutes isn't even that long. I guess Don't say that, it. now people are gonna be like, yeah, so your video's gonna be an hour and a half. <laughs> 18 minutes, I'm done. No, I, I didn't mean for the vlog, I meant like oh. for um, like waiting for food. Yeah. Like if you go to a restaurant, you, you wait, wait longer. Like, yeah. Mm hmm. All right, Zane just enjoyed his Popeyes. Wow, we didn't even show it after all that. Yo. I forgot. It was the best 
thing I've ever put in my mouth. Baby. It's messed up. No, for real though? He even tweeted about it. That's how good it was. No, but in all seriousness, I've had the chicken sandwich a few times and that was the best time right there. I don't know why. It was because so you fresh. left the pickles on. He always takes off the pickles. It's the best part. No, it makes the sandwich. Baby, I always try the pickles and I don't like it. But today it was so hot and crispy. Mm. And then I ate it with the pickles and I'm like, you know what? So good. And I was very thoroughly pleased. Are you happy that we waited on the line? I'm so happy and I'm happy to give Popeyes my business. <laughs> Not energy fuel. <laughs> Not energy <laughs> Screw fuel. Energy fuel. That's so messed up. They have good food. Anyways. Well, they're mean inside too. It's not like they're nice people. Yeah. I don't like bashing them though, because the food's good. But they could improve. I'm not bashing. So it's a lesson for improvement. If they ever see bashing this. Bashing would be like making this whole video about energy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm saying like, don't go there. Uh -huh. Anyway, Zane made us some drinks. He's got his rum and coke. He got the coke from Popeyes and then put rum in it at home. And then he made me the use, you guys know, the lemonade, Tito's, and strawberry watermelon syrup. And now we're going on a walk. I saw a funny ass like prank on TikTok. Hmm. Someone gave like their husband hmm. a glass of water, but it was actually Tito's. And he took the biggest gulp. Oh. And I got, I got like the chill. Like, oh Ooh, no. Yuck. He actually took it like a chant though. He like drank it and he was like, this isn't water. <laughs> He's like, it's not water. Straight Tito's, dude. Oh. Speaking of TikTok, because I saw that he posted on there also, but also the YouTube video is the best. Lance proposed to his girlfriend. It was the thing ever. I even showed Zane, and Zane was like, so sweet. Because he was crying too. Yeah, it was. So it was a cute proposal. It reminded me of you, the little cry. But you know what? And I gotta be honest, babe. <laughs> and you don't have to put this in your video if you don't want to, because I don't want you to get hate. But I feel so pressured right now with the proposal because like, they just did it like in their house chilling. Mm -hmm. Like I can't do that. But that's okay, that's not our time. It's not our time right now. No, but I'm saying Whatever happens, you specifically happens. want like a nice fat big proposal. With Baby, I love you with all my heart though. However you do it, I'll be happy with. Lies. That's if not I, lies. If we're in our apartment and I propose to you, you'll be slightly disappointed and you can't even tell no, me that. <laughs> no, yes, no. All right, well I believe that so I can't do that. That's on you. I, I think that we should wait till at least Corona's over. Maybe we could do it in like a cute park or something. Maybe. See? Yeah, in the See? kitchen. See? I know. See? But I love you anyway. However you do, I love you. I mean, we're practically married already. It doesn't matter. Yeah, true. Your shirt is me in quarantine. What does it say? I forgot. Losing my mind. <laughs> it is so nice out. It's I stunning. Get over it. Stunning. Iconic. Unbelievable. Look, not very windy. Yep. Not too hot, not too cold. Yep. 10 out of 10. Sun feels nice. 10 out of 10. Wait. Wait. Do you have your watch on? 10? No. I haven't worn my watch since we've been home. I know. I haven't really either. I forgot to put it on though. Because I, I my I favorite part about it is when I get a text, but like I always have my phone on me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not when I'm not out, you know? Yeah. Hi, baby. You're my cookie. Did you miss mommy? Oh, they love it. Check up, baby. Ooh, I broke a sweat on that walk. I had you in one pocket and then my phone in the other and I had my sweater wrapped around my waist so it was kind of like weights on each side of my body. I'm like, sweating. But we went on a nice long walk and we are home now. I actually just got an Amazon package that I went to open up and then I was like, oh, this is cool. We should open it on camera. I got a case for my laptop. Tell me this is not so my aesthetic. Oh my goodness, the gray wood. Yes, please. I also got... <laughs> This is like a theme today. I'm trying to slim down my face, you guys, and I got hit with a Facebook ad, so I had to try it out. It's like a face, like a neck um, slimmer, and you like wear it, and then like I watch people's videos, and like their face went down like a centimeter right after they used it, but you literally just put it on like once a day, I think, for like 30 or 45 minutes, so I figured, why not try it out? <laughs> face slimmer. I'm trying, whatever, stupid. <laughs> I'm not trying that out right now because I have makeup on. I don't want to get it all over it, but we are going to put on my laptop case. I'm excited. With my old laptop, I had on just like a sticker on it, but this time I really wanted to get like a hard case just because I spent a lot of freaking money on this laptop. I definitely don't want it to get ruined. So we're going to give it a hard case to avoid that. So freaking cute. I'm so glad I found this because all the ones that I saw were like sparkly and like 
colorful or floral and just not for me. So I finally found this one and I'm so pumped. That was easy. Just snapped right into place. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. This is like so sleek. I love it. And then the, the bottom has like the breathable slots too, which is good. How adorable is that? Here's what it looks like. I do wish that the bottom was white. I feel like that would look nicer, but it would probably get really dirty from like sitting on tables and stuff. So I guess it makes sense that it's black. So cute though. Looks so professional. Feels way more protected now too. Can you guys be nice to each other? Like for one day? Wow, I just need you guys to know that I was wearing these shorts today with the tag on them still, like, in the inside. I had no idea. Oh my gosh, you guys, excited is an understatement. <laughs> I am getting my butt into bed. I changed into my comfy clothes, got my Agamil merch on, was popping everybody. I want to get some editing done since I have some time right now, and I feel like I vlogged a good amount today, so I'm gonna chill get some work done i also got my animal crossing charging right here because i haven't played in like weeks i actually signed up finally for the nintendo thing like where you pay for it and you can like visit islands and stuff i've never done that hello i've never done that before so i'm gonna test it out but you guys gotta tell me how to do it like do i give you a code do you give me a code like how does this work i gotta get back into it i think i watched too many videos where people's islands were like so developed and I got discouraged and I'm like I'm never gonna get there and so I kind of just like haven't touched it in a while but I do love it and um I gotta stop feeling like guilty for playing it. it makes me feel like I'm wasting time but in reality I'm doing something that I enjoy so I gotta get over that I think I'm gonna put on a YouTube video while I play it makes me feel like I'm getting two things done at once I know I'm ridiculous I'm sorry so anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog definitely a turn of events I had some other things planned for today but it ended up being so nice out that we just had to take advantage of the outdoors it was supposed to rain so I'm happy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Today's notification shout out goes to Denia Alley. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for having on your notifications. It means the absolute world to me. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, you can comment down below letting me know if you have my notifications turned on and you might be in the next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Spinning like a broken record for a player you don't know that many major chords.